friends, how are you? This is Gloria Parra for Simple Stories today. I am working with the beautiful Boho Christmas collection for this layout. And let me tell you friends, I think this is my favorite collection. My favorite Christmas collection. I'm in love. I'm totally in love with this, with the colors. I love the motifs on this. I love the vintage feel and the Boho feel. I love it. I just invite you to check it out if you haven't. As always, I love the foam stickers. They are just too cute. I really was inspired by this little like banner type embellishments all around the collection. I love them, the pom-poms, the little trees. I love the rainbows all around the collection. It is just very, very fun. And I think very different to what we are usually used to work with. So I'm, I'm very inspired. I love that. I love the colors. I love the pink. So really excited for that. The sticker book is a, an amazing one. I've cut a bunch of, of things already because I like to back them up. But I really invite you to check this collection out. I love the snow globes. There are a bunch of snow globes all around the collection. You can see it here. Look at that beautiful Santa present. Gorgeous. Simple Stories knocked it out of the park as always. So for this layout, I'm gonna use this green flat pattern paper. And for my base, I will use this kind of soft pink that I've cut at 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. Okay, a square. So that's gonna be my base. So I was really inspired by this little banner type sayings that we can find in home decor all around. So like a, a wall of them kind of came to mind when I was thinking about the layout. And I decided to create something with that idea in mind. And here's the elements that I've come up with. If you have any banner type die or you want to cut some banners, this is a perfect opportunity to use those, okay? I've gone ahead and I cut from my six by eight pattern paper pack, but it's gorgeous as well. It has the patterns a little reduced, not as big as the 12 by 12. I've cut my three banners, okay? Let me measure those so you can have an idea. These are three, three by four and one quarter, and this one is four by five. So you can just go ahead and cut a little banner, three banners on those sides, those sizes and we can start creating our layout. So friends, this is what I've decided to do. I went ahead and stitched all around my, I don't know, kind of pink tree pattern paper and I've added, this is something very personal, but I love adding some foam, foam adhesive just to give it some dimension and have a little layer there. But that's totally not necessary. If you want it flat, that's perfectly fine. It's something that I like to do to create a little, a little more dimension. It's not necessary at all. This is a little tricky to do, but you, when you have foam adhesive, but you just try to calculate the same width all around your, your base pattern paper. So that's it. I have my, my first layer adhered to my, to my background. Now I've gone ahead and I've also added some hand stitching to my to my banners here. I love using, I have this Omni Grit ruler that I use to create my, my separations, you know, my punch my holes. And I've added some stitching to, to the three banners. Hey friends, I have my, my little banner stitched and I'm ready to start arranging this layout. I've added some foam adhesive at the back of my banners as well, and I'm gonna be placing them kind of in the middle, more like like one quarter from the top. For my photo, I have a three by four photo of me and my two girls for a Christmas photo shoot like last year. And I was thinking of adding it on top of a three by four card that I have from this collection. But as soon as I put it here, I think it covers up a lot of the space of my banners. So I found in the journaling pack, this little journaling tag there that was like this, right? 
So I cut the inner part and left the borders. And I love, I added some foam adhesive at the back and I love how this looks. Look, it's like an instant frame. It's smaller. It looks really cute there. And that way I can add my other banners here and start creating my layout. So this is the little frame that I will, that I created and that I will be using for my photo. Okay, so you can, I will adhere it and cut what's left of that. Now let's bring back our, our layout here. Let's place our beautiful stitched banners in the middle. And let's start arranging. I love, 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 love this little banners that I showed you at the beginning. And I want one banner on top of each stitched bag. Okay, you will find this in the journaling pack. It's a beautiful one, the journal bits. It has a bunch of them and they are all around the collection. This is such a gorgeous collection. I love any Boho, Boho collection simple stories make. So I, I want this little banners here, or this little tags, I'm sorry, to, to fall from the banners. And I want to add some more of this here and I add my journaling there. This is the basic idea and we will start constructing it from there. We can add some florals. Let's start there. I've gone ahead and I have adhered my three banners here and now let's start decorating. Let's start with our photo. I want my little frame to come on the left side. I have this journaling banner and I want this love and joy on the top. I will be adding some foam adhesive to that to have it to pop it up a little. I'm sorry friends if you can hear my daughters upstairs playing and talking. I ask them to be as quiet as possible but you know that that's that's almost impossible, right? <laughs> that's almost impossible with a four-year-old and a seven-year-old, uh, eight-year-old. So you gotta make it work. So I have my little banner here. Let's start placing it. I want my joy one here. A little layered there. I have this one that's going to be in the middle. And we're going to cover this unions with some little ho-ho banners or little strips there, little smaller banners. Okay, something like that. I'm doing one here. You can, you can add some string at the top if you want. I think that looks great as well. I have this jolly wishes here so we can start layering and adding other elements not just paper we can add there's so much guys we can add we have brads chipboard i love this layer chipboard that we can add as well okay so that i added a little i cut this one from the sticker book and i want to layer something there I'm gonna add some flowers here, some floral elements at the bottom. I'm adding the three colors. We have like the, the red one, the little pink one, and this is like a more orange, orangey red. So you can work your florals around however you like them. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you if you would like to see my my process videos, I usually upload one a week. I try to, to do that. And I would love to have you, have you here following along my scrappy adventures and, and my YouTube adventures because I'm new to this. But I promise I'm working on getting better. Okay, there we have it. Let's start it here. Because now I can stay here for days and days looking at my layout and it's, there comes a moment where you have to commit, right? I have to commit. So let's, let's do this. Yeah. 
guys. I'm a little confused here and I should add this one or that's too much. I love having threes. I love that. So maybe I'm going to keep it. But it's like the perfect place to add my journaling, right? It is my perfect place, but maybe I'll just add it and add a small journaling there or here at the top. So let's add our little flowers down here. Let's see how. This flowers I cut from the sticker book. You have an entire sheet there to fuzzy cut if you if that's something you like. If you don't like that that I think we had some florals here. Yes, we have one here and a couple on the on the die cut pack. I was also thinking of incorporating this layer chipboards. I love adding different textures and finishes, so I love I can replace maybe the, the red one. And that way I can have, have some difference there. I like that one. I, do so. I think I like the size better of this one. Let's use this one. This one's beautiful. And it adds that, that shine, right? So let's put that there. And I think... I think that's it guys. I, I was thinking of adding this little Santa here that I love as well. And I think the title is something that I have so much of words already like holiday cheer, love and joy. I don't know if it's necessary. Oh, too big. No, I think it's it's too much, but it's an option. If you like it, you can add it. I think I will leave it, leave it like this. I love what's going on. I have to adhere that one. I love what's going on here. And maybe I have this little Mary word here. Maybe something small for our, for our title. Oh, I like that one there. I think that's it, guys. I love how this looks. Maybe we can... I was also thinking of adding some brads at the top, like, as they were hanging up. With some little... I'm not sure what nails, maybe. Oh, I like that. Maybe if I have green here, I can add some... Some green there. I can add some... There we have a little nail, like if they were hanging from there. And here we can add some red, maybe, just to bring the colors from the other side. Maybe like that. I don't know, what do you think? I think I like it. We can add some chipboard here just to bring a different right there. We can add our journaling on the top. Nice. Right. I like it like this, guys. I like it. I hope you you've enjoyed this video. I hope you feel inspired with this collection. It is just stunning, stunning friends. This collection is a must-have, I think, this this holiday season. This is one of my, my favorite collections out there. So thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for giving it a thumbs up and for being here. This was Gloria Parra for Simple Stories. Thank you very much. Until the next time, bye-bye.